super cute. Uh, Internet Elvis. So I've been a fan since I was a little kid. When I was five years old, I used to get up. I'd put on a vinyl copy. I had a 68 comeback special live from Memphis. And the reason I chose Internet Elvis here in Toronto, back in the 80s, would have been the mid 80s. There was an Elvis impersonator who used to play in the subways, busking. Funny enough, ironically enough, in the subways here in Toronto. And he went and robbed a bank. He used to bank rob it. Only he didn't wear a disguise. So he kind of looked like Elvis. I mean, he'd go in, he had the sideburns, he was kind of chubby. And his nickname was the Subway Elvis because he'd rob the bank downtown and he'd hop on the run and get on the subway and ride off with the, the loot on the subway. So the police knew who he was. They were looking for this guy, the Subway Elvis. In the early 90s, I was, you know, an alt, you know, grunge kid, hanging with my buddies in my early 20s. And uh, came out of a, at one of the bars or we were, to, we were getting on the streetcar to go home. That was it at the end of the night. And the, he was getting off. And as the doors opened, he looked at us and announced himself at Queen and, Queen and Bathurst. Ironically enough, the very intersection I was standing at today. Anyway, tell, tell everyone, somebody else is back, man. He had just got sprung out of jail. <coughs> Paroled out. He's got to end up getting like a 10 year sentence or something for bankrupt, a couple of joints. <laughs> and I thought, if he could be the subway Elvis, and there's a UFO dude who's UFO Jesus, I can be Internet Elvis. So I chose Internet Elvis. So there's the story of Internet Elvis. I guess I should play an Elvis sometime. Mm-hmm.